Okay, so here's a tomato plant that um, I put in probably between two and three weeks after the ones that I just showed you. And they're coming up really, really quickly. They've only been in the ground for about a week. Um, there's flower, there's flowers, they're starting to flower a little bit. Um, they're about three times as big as what I planted them. And they've been in the ground for about, maybe not a week, maybe it's been about a week and a half. Okay, then we go over here and you can see some of the ones that I put in here. Um, and these I put into the ground with rabbit manure and their bedding, but I had some hay in there. And so I received obviously some herbicide in my hay um, and it's really tearing up my plants. So I've been kind of ignoring them to a degree, but making sure that they're um, they're not being eaten by anything. But other than that, I've been ignoring them. And there's some new growth coming here. If you can see that, there's some new growth and it's coming and it doesn't have the pesticide damage on it. Now, when you look over here, that was that's one of the worst plants. When you look over here, this one, the leaves were all curled up like that and they're opening. Um, they were all balled up just like this one where it's solid and like this is hard. It's not, it's not soft and palatable, but these are beginning to open up. They're doing some recovery now. Um, the leaves on the bottom are okay and those are the leaves that they came with. They're okay, but not wonderful but it looks like it's making a slow recovery as time goes on. And I've just kind of made sure that they stayed moist and that nothing was over here crunching on them. And that's it. Then if we go down this way, which Wyatt is really excited to show you, um, here's some more. And the leaves are starting to kind of open just a little bit, but they're still closed. But this new growth is coming in and it's, not it's not looking like the damaged growth looked when it was first coming in it does still look curled we come over here and you know they're starting to it's still damaged but it's not it's not it's still growing and then this one is flowering even though it's got the pesticide damage i mean that pesticide damage we still got flowers and they're all over. Let's see if we get fruit. There's several others flowering, but this is the part that is kind of cool. <clears throat> all of these plants received the same care. Um, none of them are GMOs. None of them should be adapted at all to the pesticide damage. Um, but some of these are recovering. So, I keep saying pesticide. You know we're talking about herbicides here. So, here's some of the damage. And it was a lot worse than that. But now look at some of the leaves that are coming up. They're not looking bad at all. It's getting better and better as it grows. Although not perfect. It's getting better. And then here's another shoot that's coming up. A little side shoot. It's looking good. Now, as we go down a little further, you almost can't tell that there was much damage at all. And here's some of the damage from the beginning, from when I first planted them. And then you come up here, and these plants are recovering. As I get further down the line, there's much better recovery. It's doing much, much, much better until we get all the way down here. And you can't see any damage. None whatsoever. Like the very tips here, you can kind of see some remnants 
but the plants have fully, fully recovered. I fully expect to get, oh, and there's a tomato. <laughs> There's a little tomato growing. Oh, it's not time to pick that one yet. You gotta wait, okay, honey? And then it's got a, a nice little offshoot right here. It's, it's doing perfect. so good. Not that tomato. You, you can't pull it, okay? And then this one too. It's doing so good. And, this and look, too. there's the flowers. So these plants are doing amazingly well. So the way that I'm growing them and what you'll see the differences and how quickly they recovered. So this area, it's over here close to the horses, but this area is full of grasses and native grasses, weeds, wildflowers. Um, and it's obviously not an area that's been um, driven on very often or anything like that. But the closer we get and there's more compaction, um, the harder it is for the plant to to recover. Because as I get over here, this is an area that the plants were planted that um, was kind of used as a driveway off and on. And you can kind of tell because there's like ruts in, the ru ruts in the field and stuff like that where the previous owners um, had to have been driving on it. And these areas are where the, like, the plants haven't recovered as well. They're, they're recovering slowly but surely, but just not as quickly. And so these little drive areas are just taking a little longer. So, and you can also tell that the wildflowers and the native grasses don't grow as well here either. Like it's just taking a little bit more time for them to come up as lush as you see that area over there. So, and that area is full of flowers and everything. And over here, it's bare ground and then it's grasses. But like lots and lots of diversity on this side and everything's growing well. So I don't know what to make of that. I can't come to a conclusion. This is one site and it's one um, example. And honestly, it's the first time that I've given plants a chance to recover from herbicide damage. I would typically just pull them up and call it a loss, like most people tell you to. So since, since I've seen this, I'll probably never do that again. I'll never just pull them up again. I'll just, you know, take the, the late harvest. But these plants are, they're recovering well. They're doing a good job. But it's interesting that the more biodiversity there is and you can see in here there's there's tons there is tons there's wildflowers and weeds and there's um, sorrel and dock there's just all kinds of plants in here um, and they're recovering quickly so take with it take it as you want um, and apply it how you want but I just wanted to show you what happened here and see if maybe it helps anyone um, as they're doing their gardening in this world where it's pretty hard to tell when things have been sprayed or haven't been, even when people tell you that they haven't. So, all right, y'all have a great day.